The airport authority and its team of local and overseas experts are fully assessing all possible impacts on the nearby marine ecology and fisheries arising from the construction and operation of the planned three runway system at Hong Kong International Airport. Our consultants are carrying out a wide range of detailed investigations into the local marine environment. In particular, the areas that could be affected by land formation and construction for the three runway system. To ensure that our study is comprehensive and robust, we have consulted industry experts, academia and NGOs to determine the appropriate survey scope and methodology, which has also enabled us to enhance the breadth and depth of our study. To establish up-to-date ecological profiles of habitats that could be directly or indirectly affected by the development, field surveys are being conducted in various habitats, including intertidal and subtidal shores, benthic communities, and estuaries. This allows us to collect ample data covering both the wet and dry seasons. In addition, we are carrying out diver surveys to determine the distribution and variety of soft bottom and hard bottom coral under the sea. Thorough literature reviews also play an important part of our assessment. Multiple survey locations help us more accurately evaluate the ecological value of habitats in the vicinity of the airport island. These locations include areas in western Hong Kong waters, such as the Sha Chao and Lung Ku Chao Marine Park, the shoreline between Tai o and Yamo, and the seabed next to the proposed new land formation footprint. Our consultants are carefully assessing the ecological value of these areas based on the best available information and comparisons with historical data. This analysis will form the basis for designing suitable measures to avoid, minimize, and mitigate and compensate for any identified adverse ecological impact on marine species. The fishery study is intended to evaluate the potential short and long-term impact of the three runway system on fishing grounds, fisheries habitats, spawning and nursery grounds, aquaculture sites, and artificial reefs. The study includes a variety of field surveys to develop solid baseline information on fisheries resources and fishing activities. Daytime surveys of purse seine, gill net and handline fishing are being conducted in both the dry and wet seasons, as in normal fisheries practice, to identify the species and their respective quantities in different study locations. Approved fish trawling is also being done to supplement the study. We are also taking advantage of the wealth of information published by the Agricultural, Fisheries and Conservation Department and other government departments. Fishermen are important stakeholders for HKIA and we are seeking their opinion through on-site visits and meetings with the fishermen associations. Once we have gathered and analyzed all the survey data, we will devise suitable measures to avoid, minimize and mitigate and compensate for any adverse effects.